movie theater, which now has a collapsed roof. The now's Bayon Wang brings us an inside look at the destruction and what comes next. Tim and Jess, you are not going to believe me right now, but I am inside the movie theater that collapsed after Friday's 7.1 magnitude earthquake. The manager here at the Ridgecrest Cinema is telling me that people are incredibly lucky that the theaters were closed and that nobody was inside because several people could have potentially lost their lives. You can see behind me that right here, this is sunlight coming in. This is where people used to be sitting down watching the big screen. Again, the manager is telling me that they are all incredibly lucky. The roof is a uh uh, the roof caved in on it. A closed cinema on a Friday night would be devastating for families in most cities. In Ridgecrest, however, it was a blessing in disguise. They could have got hurt. I mean, obviously, I don't, I, I don't know how bad it could have been. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake causing no fatalities is a miracle. The roof of a theater in the Ridgecrest Cinemas collapsing after the second quake touched down. We've suffered a giant loss in our building, but no one got hurt. We had very minimal amount of people here, so it could have been way worse. The theater was among several properties state and local officials spoke about at their first Chamber of Commerce meeting since the quake. The major damage is uh, internal, internal on structures. Um, you know, because of the fault path uh, that the first quake traveled, uh, our college, our college sustained some major damage that uh, they'll be assessing over the next weeks. Ridgecrest Police Chief Jed McLaughlin said property assessments are still at the beginning stages, but so far 55 properties have been red tagged and over 500 people are displaced. For Kelly Walden, the centerpiece of the community is one of the biggest losses. You know, it means a lot. It's the only theater that's here. We've already had uh, several people every day are calling and texting and coming by wanting to know if we're open because they want to come to the movies. And city inspectors have been in and out of this building all day. The police chief uh, saying that this property has been red tagged, meaning it's no longer safe to occupy. I mean, obviously, uh, and they are also just very appreciative that President Trump signed the emergency declaration so that some funding can be coming into this area. Live in Ridgecrest, Bayon Wing, 23ABC, connecting you.